I'm McAllen City Commissioner Jim Darling. In McAllen's early days, health care arrived on horseback. Doctors made house calls, and one doctor is even said to have converted his own home into a six-bed hospital. But McAllen's first big health care facility was built in 1928 on Main and Houston, after outgrowing a former 25-bed facility on South Broadway. In the late 1970s, for-profit hospitals took an interest in McAllen's health care needs. Hospital Corporation of America first took an interest in McAllen General, but then went on to start Rio Grande Regional Hospital on its own. The city then entered an agreement with Methodist Hospital of Dallas to sell the McAllen General license, but Methodist Hospital eventually transferred the license to Universal Health and they established McAllen Medical Center. In 1993, the old McAllen General was demolished to build the current City Hall. Today, healthy competition among several McAllen area hospitals has expanded medical service in the community. The City of McAllen continues to recognize the medical needs of a fast-growing community and is helping to promote medical education here too. On behalf of the McAllen Public Utility Board of Trustees and the City Commissioners, I want to say that we're proud in being part of McAllen's first 100 years.